What does the next few weeks look like for you as far as how you'll put your practice script together, how you'll implement the game plan, and how you'll prepare to play Alabama in the Rose Bowl? Yeah, it's going to take all. It's going to take all those days, all those hours, all those minutes. Um, you know, at first, this first week, we're going to give some, some days off to the to the players, the coaches, and um, and then we're going to have about three weeks to, to get ready for this ball game. You know, we, uh, we played Alabama before having beaten them. We played Georgia before having beaten them. Um, so we know it's, it's going to take, it's going to take our best. We're going to have to, we're going to have to play really good. But before that, you know, we're going to have to plan. We're going to have to practice and uh, get in a position to execute against uh, really good football teams. Coach, not to d jump too deep into the X's and O's, what is your initial thought going against Alabama and Jalen Miro being a mobile quarterback and that Vaughn Ty defense? Yeah, just uh, you know, just just watching what I what I watch a lot of college football and and uh, the game yesterday. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's he's got it. You know, he's got that it factor. Um, surrounded by a, a lot of really superior athletes that are really well coached and know what they're doing. I mean, you know, that's a that's a vital critical combination when you get guys when you can coach players to do what they're supposed to do together as a unit. And then uh, superior athletes are, are doing that. I mean, that's what we think of our team. We think uh, we're the same, that same type of team. Nick, typically you win the SEC, slam dunk, you're getting into the playoff. What was last night like for you, knowing that there was at least some controversy about whether you would make the field? Well, it was a tough night. I didn't sleep a lot. Uh, because there's a lot of good teams out there. Uh, Florida State certainly a good team and to go undefeated in their league and uh, it's unfortunate that some good team had to get left out but I really think that our team earned the right to be here. Uh, he beat number one Georgia in the SEC championship game. Uh, they've worked hard all year to improve and uh, I'm really proud of what they've been able to accomplish together as a team. Why would you say that, that your team was able to finish the deal uh, yesterday? What is it about this team? Because Georgia came, responded, gave you a punch, and you needed to finish the game. What was the key factor in getting them to the point that they were able to do that? Well, this team has shown great resiliency all year long. I mean, we've been behind in several games, came back in the second half. Uh, we knew that when you play a team like Georgia and you play teams like we're going to play in the playoffs, they know how to win. So you have to go out there and prove that you know how to win in terms of being able to sustain for 60 minutes and keep making plays and keep playing hard. And uh, I think our guys have done that all year, and they certainly were able to do it last night. 